buy this for the purpose of off-roading it, enjoying the Humvee as it was originally designed. This vehicle is an amazing collector's item. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Ryan Wilson here from Predator Inc. And today I've got a pretty cool vlog going. What we wanted to do was kind of break down the differences between an H1 Hummer and a Humvee. Two completely separate vehicles. This is not a Hummer. This is not an H1. Oftentimes we see a lot of our customers call this an H1 Hummer. And they call in and say, hey, I've got a 2009, 2010 H1 Hummer. We're like, okay, wait, wait, wait. You have a Humvee, right? Well, yeah, it's the same. We need to talk about the differences between these two vehicles when you go to purchase them. Because there's a lot of people out there who are buying this, expecting to turn it into this. From a financial standpoint, that doesn't make sense. And from a legality standpoint, probably doesn't make sense in your state. We're gonna break that down, hopefully save a few phone calls with customers asking us to quote out converting a Humvee into a Hummer. So it's gonna be an ex-military vehicle. There's a lot of really good examples out there like this one, this is a 2009 in almost perfect condition and shape. It's absolutely beautiful. But the legality side of owning one, it is almost impossible in most states to get registration and get it titled. When they first got released many years ago, California accepted them as far as taking it in and getting it registered. Fast forward a few years, California was pulling those titles and saying, sorry, we're not gonna register this for you. We're not gonna give you a pink slip, a title, as an on-road vehicle. And that was because it was not DOT legal, which uh, gets into some debates online as far as, well, it's the same vehicle. But long story short, it was never registered as a DOT legal vehicle. It was never designed for that. It was meant for war. There are more and more states who are canceling registrations, rescinding titles, as well as not doing any registration at all. So we're getting people calling in even now from California saying, hey, I'm gonna buy this truck out of state. I wanna do all this stuff. I'm like, well, hold on. Do you know that most likely you will not get this thing registered in California. California is like the, the Gestapo when it comes to DOT regulations. They're pretty tough. And that's why here at Predator, we will not buy nor sell any Humvees. We stay out of that and we're seeing more and more states pull the trigger on rescinding titles, canceling the registration. Even in like a state like Florida, Florida was really registration and turned it into a historical plate. Other than that, it's not meant for your daily driver. This vehicle is an absolute amazing vehicle and I'm giving you a bunch of negative stuff up front so you can kind of understand what's happening out there from the legality side of things in registering this vehicle. So you're gonna have a couple hurdles to get through, which you can definitely do if you really wanna get a Humvee. What you really gotta look at is what do you want out of this vehicle? Do you want an H1 Hummer or do you want a Humvee? Do you wanna buy this truck and try to turn it into this? It doesn't work and here's why. Financially, it does not make any sense at all. Most Humvees that you're gonna buy don't have doors. These are X doors. They're pretty shoddy. I mean, for a Humvee, it's, you know, you don't really have an interior on there. So having these doors gives you protection. They're just fine. But as you can see, there's a lot of flex here. You eventually get spider cracks. And again, 2009 Humvee in excellent shape, has spider cracks here. And there'll probably be a couple more over here. Um, it's just, there's a lot of flex to these doors and they start to rattle around. Ultimately, they don't seal up very well. You get some water intrusion up here. Very common, which is fine. It's a Humvee. Enjoy the truck. It's a great off-road rig. But when you try to get the H1 doors over here onto this guy, it's almost impossible. And there's a perception out there from the guys who are looking into buying this truck. They're just gonna go out and buy doors. It's almost impossible to do that. And the reason why is, you're fighting all the other customers with Humvees that came before you. AM General does not manufacture these doors. So you have to go out there and find these doors that are not being manufactured anymore and ultimately have gone through the roof on pricing, pushing almost 10 grand or so 
for a set of doors. And most of the time it doesn't have the interior panels on it, doesn't have glass. Um, you're buying just kind of the skeleton of the door. And that's a pretty decent price. If you can find a set of doors, great. Grab them for your Humvee because they're just non-existent. That's a hurdle you're gonna have to accept if you're trying to convert this into this. On the CTIS, so what that means is central tire inflation system. You can inflate and deflate the tires on the fly. So huge advantage with the Humvees as well as the Hummers. A lot of times you can get through stuff that you are gonna traditionally need lockers on just by deflating the tires. So great upgrade. It pretty much comes standard on all H1 Hummers. There's a couple out there, the 92 LEs that didn't have the CTIS as well as recruit models that came out in 94 or five, something like that. Uh, but there's only a couple hundred of them out there, not too many. Most of them are equipped with CTIS. Uh, now, if you are buying a Hummer, uh, take a look at the CTIS system because a lot of people don't know how to repair them properly. Um, they do leak, and so what they'll do is just shut them off and remove the system or just turn the system off. Humvees typically do not have CTIS. Now, there are some that have CTIS. We've done a lot of work with SOCOM over the years. These trucks are very easy to upgrade to CTIS, but the components are costly. Just off the top of my head, I would say to do it properly with the factory components, you're probably looking at like seven grand or so. Uh, some of the spindle parts, um, in the geared hubs have to be changed out. All new stainless steel braided lines all the way around. And the compressor, I think, is pushing $1,500, $2,000. It does get costly. That's another added cost to make this, turn this into this, where that comes standard. Now let's get to the inside of the vehicle, because inside the vehicle, you're going to see a lot of differences there. And that's where you're going to invest a tremendous amount of money to get the Humvee into the H1 level. Inside this M1165, kind of want to show you the differences, stark differences between the two. Again, Humvee is an absolute amazing vehicle, military grade, military spec, but you don't have a dash. This is a Duramax converted truck that we just wrapped up. Uh, we put in some custom gauges, but you don't have the nice aftermarket gauges. You have the military grade gauges, which is again, just fine. So buy this truck for what it is. Don't try to convert it into a civilian H1 because you'll never get it out of it. It's not the same vehicle at all. If there were a huge lack of Hummers out there, then I would say it makes sense, but there's a ton of them out there. So why go through the headache of trying to do that? Get it, outfit it with all kinds of you know military gear, enjoy the truck, off-roading. Inside here, very sparse. Uh, I've got some upgraded best top seats. These are just kind of like less expensive uh, replacement Jeep seat in here. They work very well. Aftermarket Grant steering wheel here. At least you have something a little bit better to grip and get a hold of. But as you can see, there's not a lot here. Getting over the door panels here, I'm not sure if you can see those. There's no interior paneling on them. Um, the latch mechanism to release it is kind of funky. It works for what it is, super cool, but it's not an H1. If you're looking for like a vehicle that you could build up with, with one of your kids or, or your kids, you can have a lot of fun doing that and you can go as far as getting our Alpha Dash Kit and putting that in here. It would give you a great location for a stereo. A lot of customers do that. Uh, but going to the extent of converting it into an H1 is a tremendous amount of work and you're talking hundreds and hundreds of man hours to do that, even getting down to uh, the 24 volt system that's in here and you have to convert it over to a 12 volt. So you have to have a 24 to 12 volt conversion on there to run a 12 volt stereo system. There's a lot that is involved in the detail work. You can just slap a dash in here and call it good. And that's not a lot of work. And then you can kind of kit it up as you go along like these seats, um, nice little upgrade over the factory seats. And there's probably a dozen different options out there for seats. So if you're looking for a project vehicle, great way to go. If you're looking to send the truck to us to outfit and turn it into a Hummer, we're gonna talk you out of that every time and try to get you into an H1 because it has all the components that you're gonna need. We don't have to spend years trying to source the components. So let's jump into the H1 Hummer. I wanna show you kind of the differences between the two side by side, and you can see all the different components that are in there that you'd have to go out and try to replicate or copy or um, purchase used if you can, if you're lucky enough to find those. So uh, let me show you an H1. So we're in the H1 Hummer and completely different feel. Dash, all the gauges, the HVAC control knobs here that you would get in a normal you know, vehicle. Um, CTIS, inflation, deflation, selection valve, and the gauge up here. 
standard automotive gauges across the dash. You got a Momo steering wheel. So definitely a very refined vehicle from um, its predecessor, the Humvee. You can definitely upgrade your truck, your Humvee with the Alpha Dash. That's a pretty quick and easy upgrade where you can get this piece and this piece here and kind of put your own gauges in there. It gives you a nice little area to hook up, install a stereo system, a head unit. Again, trying to convert that Humvee into this it's just a lot of components, the overhead console, for example, the headliner, um, all the miscellaneous pieces that really adds up where you could have easily shoot 20 grand into components on the inside, just the interior pieces. And then you have to wrap it with like leather or some type of suede. It's most likely those pieces that you're getting are either uncovered. We do have replication pieces that are made out of fiberglass or they are old h1 parts okay so at least you get an idea of what goes into the h1 hummer versus a humvee so you got two different perspectives a lot more money that's going to go into this on top of your humvee purchase where you can get into an h1 for far less than that and then you don't have to deal with trying to find all these different components buy this for the purpose of off-roading it enjoying the humvee as it was originally designed this vehicle is an amazing collector's item. Um, there's a lot of customers that we have that are buying these, building them up with their kids, enjoying them off-road. And you can get into them for very, fairly reasonable numbers, like in the $20,000 range starting. Now, you're gonna see them out there listed for like five grand starting price. Uh, they start at five grand, it's an auction, and it'll go right to 20 grand or so. And we'll get into all the details on this on another vlog. I really just kind of wanted to focus on the differences between these vehicles. The similarities are great. They're very similar, but the differences are significant when it comes to trying to convert this into this. That does not financially make sense at all. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps. And also feel free to give us a call. We're, we're always here answering phone calls. Um, I think that this vlog will probably help answer the majority of the phone calls that we get on a daily basis as far as upgrading a Humvee and turning it into a Hummer. If you have any other further questions, shoot us a call. We're here for you. Thanks for watching as always. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below. See you guys soon.